So these are equivalent expressions because they can be rewritten. The difference is one-third is multiplied by everything on the right and only the first term on the left. So I can avoid that situation by multiplying everything by 3. Here goes away, and I have x squared minus 6 is equal to x minus k times x plus k. So if I think about difference of squares, this is going to be x plus the square root of 6 times x minus the square root of 6. The middle terms will cancel out, and root 6 times root 6 gives me 6. So k is the square root of 6. So my a value is 4, my b value is b, and my c value is 9. And if we have exactly one solution, that means if I use the discriminant part of the quadratic formula, it's going to equal 0. So the square root of b squared minus 4 times 4 times 9 is going to equal 0. Or in other words, b squared minus 144 is equal to 0. Or b squared is 144, or b is 12. So first I'll factor a 2 out of the top. This gives me 2 times x minus 2. And I'm guessing then I'll try to factor x minus 2 out of this one. But first there's a 2 to factor out, so x squared plus x minus 2. Then I can rewrite this bottom equation as x plus 2 times x minus 1. So this is where I'm at, and I was hoping to cancel out x minus 2 and x minus 2, but it didn't quite work out. But it turns out that's what b is, and that's the answer. The top part I can rewrite as x plus root 2 times x minus root 2. That's the difference of squares formula. And notice now that these cancel out, and I'm left with x plus root 2. For what value of b do we only have one solution? So a is 1 b is b, and c is 16. I'm going to use the discriminant part of the quadratic formula and plug in these values. So b squared minus 4 times 1 times 16 is equal to 0. b squared minus 64 is 0. b squared is 64. b is 8. Now this could be plus or minus 8, so we could test both of the original answers, or both answers in the original equation, I mean. And depending on if this was 8 or a negative 8, this would be written as x plus 4 times x plus 4, or x minus 4 times x minus 4. In both cases, there's still only one answer, so they both work. I'm going to use the reverse box method. So I know that this will be x to the fourth, and this will be 16. So I'm going to put x squared and x squared. Uh, factors of 16 that add up to 8 is going to be 4 and 4. And I have to make them negative to get to this negative 8x squared. And if I do so, that works out. So I'm looking at x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 4, which is this. And it turns out, if I take x plus 2 times x minus 2, I get to this. And this has me do that twice. So both of these work, 1 and 2. If that was a little confusing, think about x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2, and you just pair these up. And each one is equivalent to x squared minus 4. We're looking for a difference of squares here, so x plus whatever the root of a is times x minus whatever the root of a is, which is b.